Hi everyone, how are we all doing and welcome back. So you need a battlefield 5, you're on the deployment screen and you see the option to select a tank and you're not really too sure what it's about. Well the goal of this video is to bring you up to speed with all the basic information that you need to know in order to get you started. So without wasting any more time, let's jump in with how to use the tank. So starting off we're going to go over the roles of the tank. The first one being to destroy enemy vehicles. You know, that's any vehicle you can see, you need to make sure you take it out and deny the en enemy the ability to use it against yourself and your team. This leads nice on to the second point, which is supporting infantry. You know, in the tank, it's your goal to also support the infantry on the ground, whether that be through capturing objectives or distracting enemies. You know, if you roll up onto the objective in a tank, either the enemy is going to disperse off the objective, or if they're an assault or support player, they may engage you, at which point, you know, your team can come onto the objective and catch them off guard which in turn gives you the upper hand in capturing the objective. So that's just some of the roles that the tank can play on the battlefield. Moving on, we're going to cover the type of tanks now. This isn't going to be like an in-depth sort of section where I'm talking about perks or anything like that for each type of tank. That will come in the future. Um, but for now, you know, I don't want this video to be too long or anything like that. So we're going to kind of skip over that bit. But we're just going to sort of do a slight breakdown of kind of what each tank does in the battlefield and sort of how best to utilise it. So starting off, we've got the light tank. As the name suggests, it hasn't got much armor to it, but it makes up in this for being quite fast. You know, it's one of the fastest tanks on the battlefield. You know, it doesn't have much of a punch to it, but you know, when you can flank the enemy, use that speed to flank and sort of engage the infantry, you know, you can really cause havoc behind the enemy, you know, and you'll be able to sort of maneuver around the other tanks that pack a bit more of a punch just due to that having that speed. So they are really good at fighting the infantry. Next up we've got the medium tank. As the name suggests, you know, bang in the middle, it's a mix of both, you know, it's got a modest amount of armour, packs a bit of a punch, bit of speed as well to it, you know, you can sort of use it as the adaptive role, you know, you come across, you know, infantry, you can use it to tag out the infantry, come across a heavier tank, may have a bit of a struggle with it, but you can still maybe get the drop on it if you play your cards right, and sort of get the uh, weaker spots on the tank. Leads us nicely into the heavy tank, so that as the name suggests, you know, it's the heavy tank. This is like your iconic Tiger 1 tanks, you know, real slow, but they have lots of armor, you know, really formidable on the battlefield. Takes quite a pound in, and it also packs a punch as well, you know, it is a real beast on the battlefield, these heavy tanks are. But like, like with them being slow, if you get out of position, you know, get flanked easily, you can go, still go down, so you just gotta be careful when using them. We've also got amphibious tanks now. These were added with the Pacific update uh, last year. As an suggests, you can go in the water with them. Really useful on sort of some of the Pacific maps. Uh, just being able to sort of get around in the water, you know, and sort of catch the odd boat off guard that's trying to flank around. I'd say there's sort of like a medium tank, you know, mix of both. You can sort of utilise most roles uh, as a tank. Just good fun to use on those maps. Finally, we've got the AA tank, you know, the anti-air tank used to take out planes, you can also use it against infantry, some people may get a bit sort of salty in the chat, but primarily you sort of use them against the uh, air support in the sky and try and sort of harass them, so it sort of enable your planes to have free reign over bombing the enemy. Just quickly, you can also get tanks from the squad reinforcements, these ones really do pack a punch, you know, you, you hardly see them on the battlefield, but when they are in play, they can really sort of turn the tide of a battle when used right. So that's just a thing to look out for if you're a squad leader or in a squad and you've got enough uh, points to use them. You know, I do recommend picking them up because they really are sort of a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. So that sort of rounds out the sort of types of tanks that you can expect to see in the battlefield and sort of how best to use them. And we'll sort of move on now to sort of the final part of the video. So we're going over a few tips, tips and tricks that you can sort of use to sort of how you have the edge on the enemy. So you may be wondering how do you resupply and repair tanks? Well, it's the same way as an infantry player, you know, you've got these resupply stations around the map. You drop to these as you can see above. And what you do, you sort of press either your key bind or your button uh, that's prompted and you can repair and resupply your tank there. Just completely repairs it, any tracks, engine that's been damaged, you can use that and get it fully operational again. There is also a perk that enables you to sort of repair tracks and engines out on the field and give a bit of health back. It's not a full repair or resupply, but you can take that if you just need to get out of that sort of tight situation, retreat and get the repair off. This is a big one that I still see happen today, and that's people not going down with their tanks. So when you get into a tank, you need to sort of accept that you will get destroyed at some point, and therefore you need to go down with it. I know in most FPS games, you know, 
people want to survive as long as possible to have a high KD and all, everything like that. But when you're in a tank, you know, these things can turn the tide of a battlefield when in sort of the correct hands. So you need to make sure that you go down with it, especially on some game modes and maps where tanks are limited. It can really put it against your team if people are bailing out of tanks and the enemy are being able to capture them and then repair them and then use them against you. So except that you will get destroyed and sort of just go down with them. So as you can see, it's a clip above. You know, somebody was taking the tank and we got a free tank from it. This leads nicely down to not getting out your tank for any reason. I know sometimes you might need to build the repair station up or, you know, there's a teammate or squad mate down in front of you. No matter what, don't get out of your tank, okay? Because it, it, all it takes is one enemy to sneak up and take it from you and you've lost the tank. So that's just another thing to be wary of. Don't get out of the tank for any reason whatsoever. You know, stay in it and somebody else will get that teammate up or re repair that build station for you. So, yeah, stay in the tank, don't get out. So, these next few tips are to sort of help you stay alive longer in the tank. Staying with you, the infantry and your teammates can be really helpful to stay alive longer. Just as they can engage other assault and support players, you know, that may be harassing you. They can also engage other tanks that may come upon you as well. Sort of, you know, adding that extra sort of bit of damage to be able to take them down easier. When you do come across other enemy tanks though, using cover around you to engage them can be really useful, whether that be sort of hiding behind buildings or walls etc. Something that's got a bit of hard cover to it and sort of using that to be able to poke in and out and get a couple of shots off if they can even get a shot off of you. You can even use it to sort of obscure part of your tank and only have like the sort of stronger parts sticking out, making it harder for the enemy to take you down. However, by doing this, just watch out for sort of narrow areas and choke points around the map. And these are prime places for sort of the enemy to ambush you and place mines. All it takes is one or two sneaky support or assault players to take you down. So just watch out for those narrow areas and choke points. But if you do find yourself in these places, I always sort of drive around in third person until I need to engage an enemy. Just because having that wider field of view and that wider vision can sort of help me like like see any enemy that might be trying to sneak up on me or you know that might be hiding just down the road so when i do see an enemy or a tank i do swap into uh, first person just have that bit more accuracy and just being able to use the site um, and the dots and stuff on the site as well to be able to sort of land those shots that might be further away so keeping an eye on your map you know seeing what going on around you and using that information to sort of plan your route accordingly you don't want to just drive into a situation kind of blind so by using the map you can use that information then to sort of plan how best to sort of either go into that objective or sort of use it to flank the enemy you know you can always use that information to your advantage so just keep checking your map you know have either have it zoomed out on the uh, the mini map or have the bigger map sort of open up as well from time to time and just seeing what's going on around you just really useful for you staying alive longer but well, that's it for the video on how to use a tank. Really hoped it helped you out. You know, any other tips you can think of or anything like that, please put below, you know, help the next person out. Anything I can do to improve the video, you know, please let me know as well below. Always looking to improve and get better. But yeah, I hope the video helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.